This is a feature that I've had in mind for a long time, and I keep coming back to it, especially now with Renoise 3.4, which has the support for Raspberry Pi and Ableton Link, and the emphasis there is on live collaboration using minimal setups. And so in that situation, having native gamepad support would be just ideal. There are other solutions for doing this through MIDI, but it is of course an external program which you need to install, and when you read the instructions, you will then have to download and install another external program in order to get things working properly. And since it's MIDI, you can only transmit 128 different values. In Renoise and in Redux, uh, the values are kept as 32-bit floating point, which is essentially unlimited. So having that restricted to just 128, yeah, not great. Having it done natively, you could have access to however many different values you'd like. And of course, you're additionally restricted by having to use the MIDI Learn feature. Through that, you assign the MIDI buttons and controls to various uh, points and features within Renoise, but it is limited. One of the things that you'd want to do is to be able to control something like the cursor. And one of the main reasons you'd want to do this is because of the massive success of the Steam Deck. And I see, especially on Twitter, a lot of people are installing Renoise on that through Linux. So, being able to use the controls natively on the device, even though it has more limited controls than the standard controller, being able to use it natively, that would be absolutely ideal for the Steam Deck. I'm pretty sure though that making this Renoise gamepad support natively, it'd be a big task for the three different platforms on Windows, Mac and Linux. You'd have to tangle with on Windows DirectX, or the equivalent on the other platforms. But the features available to you through the gamepad are vast. They are portable, small, lightweight controllers. So if you're playing a gig, uh, doing a set, and you really want to keep the setup minimal, then having a gamepad available to you, uh, that would be an excellent companion. Plus, they are devices that people likely already own, so there's no upfront cost. And you've probably been using them for games for a very long time, which means they're going to be highly proficient with using them. So there's absolutely no learning curve. And the things they feature are surprisingly common to uh, traditional MIDI controllers. There's two XY pads, and they also have built-in switches. There's two analog triggers, which change the value according to how far you push them in. The D-pad is four separate buttons, which allow easy two-way combos. And there are eight or more other buttons. And it can also be used wirelessly, which is great for doing stuff live. Certain other models feature additional controls, such as four extra back paddles. There's even additional controller types, which feature different amounts of buttons and different types of controls. And adding support for those would be uh, no problem at all, because it'd be done through the same DirectX or equivalent setup. Thing is, even if this Renoise gamepad support would turn out to be not feasible, I think uh, adding and expanding on an existing device that supported the mouse would be great. I personally would love to have five button mouse support because seriously, these guys incredibly handy and being able to assign them to something like undo and redo, that'd be very cool. <laughs> 